いやHi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple Movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. Hi, hi, hi. How are you um, doing today? Um, today I want to talk about the dark side of social media. The dark side of social media. I was going on the internet if you're watching on tiktok double click the screen double click the screen pop my money guns i was on tunde ednot's page earlier on today and i'm going to go there and he posted something that really caught my fancy or caught my attention should i say so le let me scroll down to to the page i hope i can still see it yes this is it right here he said some are using their instagram pages to make thousands millions a month while some are using it to insult their elders from blog to blog not making a dime Hope you are using your data and Instagram page well. Mm. Hope you are using your data page well. I'll read this again. Some are using their Instagram pages to make thousands millions a month while some are using it to insult their elders from blogs to blogs not making a dime hope you are using your data and your instagram page well we are not getting any younger and that brings me to this topic how far would you go to how far would you go to catch cruise how far would you go to catch cruise there was a girl who I chased online. She came after me. So I set my people after her. Make we even find them. <laughs> the girl don't they beg me for two days now. Because our girl don't suck her for work. I was able to find her. Cropped a couple of her tweets. I can't find her. Say, the person we employ am. Now my guy. Now I send them a message. I say, See what your employee they tweet. Papa see. <laughs> Look at this one. Crypto hacker. Uh, 534. He say, you don't come here again or day. Can we all report this account? Crypto hacker 534. Let's report. Let's remove him. I'm going to pin the comment. Let us remove this guy from joma serve how are you doing let's remove this guy from instagram crypto hacker i want to pin his comments that's right let's remove him from this instagram oh yeah everybody report his account 
that's his account right there let's report it crypto hacker 534 all of you joma sir how you doing tolu honiko how you doing oh yeah oh yeah report them report them report them everybody report them harassment bullying can i continue with this henry thank you for sending super chat and super stickers mm. come on you say go report my account block oh yeah report it as i don't rapture you now mm. 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 very easy so then let's talk about what i was talking about so this young lady went online and she did insult me i can't screenshot her because we they catch some people one by one she wouldn't amount if you see where some of these people live this girl's salary i asked my friend because she said that she now beg she don't beg 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 i can't say okay make it no be sitting on top of my head they go sack him i can't tell my guys to make it leave him make it no sack him so the guy now where he was talking to me about the girl said do you believe that the girl was talking about how bad her character is that they wanted to sack her before for poor because she's supposed to be a front desk assistant uh say her work ethics are poor blah 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 see and she they beg her to increase her salary from eighty thousand to hundred thousand see she no go see that increase I can't sit down counting camp say person they earn eighty thousand naira a month as a young lady you go do a little show join waiting they do you especially if you want to come online and wear wig you go do hook up so you are insulting daddy freeze who is doing his legit work this same social media all of us they come some of us don't see how we go take open office for this social media the rest of you they cause people up and down for social media. They catch crews. Do you realize that your top blogs, your top, the top five blogs in Nigeria make a minimum of one million naira a day? Just any top blog. Just think of the blog. You don't need to write it. Any top blog top five in nigeria make a minimum of one million naira a day one million naira a day is 30 million naira a month there's only one month in the year that has 28 days and that's february every other month is 30 or 31 so it is very easy to say that they make 30 million naira a month top blogs today one dollar is one thousand naira so they are making 30 30 thousand dollars a month three hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year three hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year how many of you in america make three hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year how many of you in the uk make three hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year just so that you understand the perspective of the opportunities some make even more some of your someone said that's doctor's money not in the uk in america in the uk that is two doctors money
for money help you calculate and three hundred and sixty five thousand dollars a year that's what some bloggers are making but you are online on that same online where your mate sat down started blogging your mate sat down started doing skit your mate sat down started doing interviews like daddy freeze your mate start, sat down started dancing on tiktok singing on tiktok doing dj on tiktok you are jumping from blog to blog insulting people that are richer than you older than you have something they are doing with their lives have you ever given this a thought I'm asking you, have you ever given this a thought? There are some bloggers, I, there are some bloggers that I know when they started. Ah, Daddy Freeze, please help me promote my channel. I want to be a blogger now. I can mention, I know one or two. Someone says, all of us can't be content creators. There are people who sell courses online. There are people who sell products online you don't all have to be bloggers you don't all have to be content creators but you are all on this online how can you be earning one thousand five hundred dollars a year on the same online that somebody is earning 365k and you don't think you should do something about yourself aproko doctor is a doctor He is creating content in line with his field. He is driving the latest Benz. I saw it in his in one of his videos. At least I saw the dashboard, even though he wasn't trying to show it. The camera panned. I said, ah, this guy is driving a 2020 something Benz. I know farmers that are selling their products online. Chefs that are selling their products online. Restaurants that are selling their products online. Instead of you to go online and look for an opportunity to build yourself, you are hopping from one blog to the other. Someone say with his lies. Can you imagine? Look at him, a young child that right now should either be sleeping or preparing himself for today's work is here jumping on my life hopeless like his father is his mother is probably standing on the road somewhere doing bj 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 hello honey he's here represent a poor representation of his family background say name na k metro if you're watching on tiktok pop my money guns follow my number one gifter this is what we're here talking about today We never go far. We never talk go far. When I don't begin to show yourself. You see, eh? You see, eh? Captain Mo, I see you, brother. Social media is an opportunity. Some, some of you are not going to make money on social media. But you're going to market yourself. Some of you are going to meet your husbands on social media. Some of you are going to meet wives. Some of you are going to meet business partners. Do you know that every single tweet of yours can be recalled?
every single tweet uh Miss Linda's met I met Miss Linda half of the people here that are my friends today I met them on social media the only person I met physically was Ada Vidoma social media uh, brother Shukbo social media Mrs Linda social media Chichi Obama social media every single person here Social media has done a lot of good, but you see, when humans are uneducated, social media can be toxic and dangerous. I was listening to a Ghanaian preacher earlier on who was talking about the whitewashing of the name Jesus. It is, you can't argue with facts. There was no child born 2,000 years ago called Jesus. You cannot argue with the facts. Hebrews don't have J in their language. It is, not, it is not my opinion. It is a fact. The English language did not have J until 400 years ago. It's not my opinion. It's a fact. Go and look for the 1611 King James. There was no J. John was Yon. Jerusalem was Jerusalem. Jeremiah was Jeremiah. So the guy raised the question. He said, why did they change his name to Jesus? Why? Prophet Muhammad is still Prophet Muhammad. Buddha is still Buddha. Hercules is still Hercules. Even Satan is still La Satan. How come Yahushua became jesus but you see nobody wants to have the conversations based on logic based on facts we all want to be sentimental one pastor said he wants to go and fight uh, the marine spirit <laughs> pastor where they bring people say make you pray for you say anointing don't leave i'm be waiting i was watching it with Ada earlier on today You understand? A small child would come on an adult social media page and insult someone that is their father's mate for no apparent reason, for no justifiable cause. A small boy, a small child. <laughs> now that's it. He said grace has gone. <laughs> no matter. Bring up an argument. Somebody said, eh, they translated the translation of his name is Jesus. Please, oh. When you go abroad, do they translate your name? Why didn't they translate all the other deities' names? Why did they not translate? The, the only place where you see plenty of translation are Christianity. Translate, 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 translate. Why? Let me tell you something about Islam. For you to pray, you cannot pray Islam in English as a Muslim. You have to, base minimum, you have to learn the Fatiha in Arabic, the language the Prophet spoke, and then you have to learn at least one or two surahs that you will use with the fatia when you are praying. What is the language of Christianity? Is it Greek that the New Testament was written in? <laughs> is it Hebrew, the language of Christ? Or Aramaic, the language he spoke? Or Roman, Latin, the language of the conquerors? Or English, the language of those that sold our parents. What is the language of Christianity? Because let me tell you something. The easiest way to lose anything is moving from one language to the other. Half of the essence is gone. That is why as a Muslim scholar, you have to learn Arabic. The language the prophet spoke. 
any muslim prayer you must learn that they are arabic by force that's why they have ile keu what is ile keu? keu is arabic what is ile house ile keu is the house of arabic them don't translate bible translate 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 to the point where he not get meaning again and when you bring up this topic and you try to have an intelligent conversation with africans they go begin swear for you sometimes i feel like giving up because i know that there is no redemption african man we lost he don't lost Someone said, why are the names of angels in English? Look at Jiga. Jiga. Now, Jiga page I picked that video from. He said they repackaged Yeshua and turned him to Jesus and forced him on Africans. Me, I they wait to see that miracle with Jesus they do. I still they here, they wait. When Junior Pope, why? I did Jesus, Jesus. What God cannot do does not exist. Now, I saw me, I they here, they look for them. See? Poor guy. So, we don't have people who are thinking on social media, and that's dangerous. We have people who are emotional. We have people who jump on social media. You see, let me tell you something here. Eh? The level of scripture knowledge that I have and someone like Simply Vic has, we would only be in circles of people who have similar knowledge or superior knowledge or slightly less knowledge. So when we speak, we will speak well, of course, there'll be a lot of back and forths, but they are back and forths with people of similar intellectual ability. Or somebody like Jiga. But you see, when you come on social media, somebody will drop out from primary six. Now, no, 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 hold on. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, yeah. In as much as I like the entrepreneurial spirit of the East, I'm, I... I've come to realize that money is a very primitive means of solving problems. Money is a primitive means of solving problems. In as much as, because somebody will tell you, oh, you know the book, you get money. His house in the village is probably bigger than my house in the village. Because he can buy a fan at 5 Naira and sell it at 7 Naira. I'm not undermining his ability. But my question is, that same person who is a great businessman, who can teach other people how to do business, has zero knowledge about scripture or Bible or any of those things. But he has access to a phone, a good phone, probably an iPhone 15 or a Samsung Fold. And because he has access to this phone, he comes online and talks rubbish. Argues with people he should be learning from, he is busy arguing with. Look at... Kubana chief priest. The same internet people where they hail and for back. Hey, we love you, our brother. Now them, they post pictures of where they spend money. Why are you doing this? Just to catch crews. At somebody's expense. at somebody's expense i come to social media 
to do one thing to teach to teach the gospel not what your pastors teach you that's the feel good news the one that will make you feel good when nothing is working in your life to motivate you and get you to a high that is what you call the feel good news the real good news is the one i'm here to teach you about the one that you will not like how it sounds someone said nala you come to social media to make money oh that of course i come to social media to make money i designed how i'm going to come to social media to make money i sat down with a team in israel and a team in Lagos and we came together and we deliberated on how best it is to start a business that revolves around social media. Tom said you're also cashing out on social media. If you choose to come here to catch crews careful if you choose to come here to catch crews i'm not saying there's anything wrong in catching crews but if that's all you do why are you blaming me 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 and you go farm you the stone lizard me are the plant cassava the next day me and you go farm you the whistle at orange cellar where they pass they talk say she get big gash me are the water my cassava me and you go farm the next day. You they pluck mango for tree. Me, I they cut the grass where they near my cassava. Six months later, me and you go farm. I pull out cassava from underground. You come begin the jealous me, the vex. No, be me and you go the same farm. No be me and you come this same social media. I did ask you. Oh, Daddy Freeze, you are cashing out. You think it is easy. If it is easy to cash out on social media, you are cash out. You cash out. If you think it is easy, cash out. You don't even have to cash out. Just make 10k a month on social media. Make you say as it as it be. I have a friend. She's in the UK. Thank you, thank you. Emeka just popped my money gun. Emeka Ikbegu. Bless you, brother. Let me explain it to you. I have a friend in the UK. We used to work together. She got to the UK. Paid her school fees by herself. Hustled. She now got abroad. Chris Udo says, I don't like this man. I don't like your father either. But he mated with your mama. Can't take born of Bonu like you. I don't need you to like me. Even your papa will born you, not like you. Why I think say you won't go do DNA test? And if you do, you not go mad. Because now your mama boyfriend she born you for. And not be even the main boyfriend. Now the one which they cut around sweet. Eh? Chris Udo. Omo Ali. If they say Omo Ali, raise your hand. Number one. Jati Jati. I don't like this man. That's what you came here to type. Please let me tell you the story of this, my friend. So she went to the UK. She's hustling and she's doing TikTok videos. She called me about two months ago, said Daddy Freeze. Do you know I have almost finished gathering my second year school fees on TikTok by doing videos on TikTok? I have a friend who's a lady. She has about 1.7 million followers on TikTok. She makes 3,000 pounds a month on TikTok. 3,000 pounds a month on TikTok.
while her past, this other lady her school fees about seventeen thousand pounds she has almost completed raising it from doing videos on tiktok DJ Emeka pop me two money guns and DJ Who be that? Oh my like that name. DJ Who be that just popped one money gun. I don't know if I'm making sense to you. You come to the same social media. Now there's some people who are educated who come and offer something on social media. They offer knowledge. They offer ideas. It's not everybody that's going to make money on social media. And you don't have to make money on social media. But are you adding value? I'm not sure Jiga Collins has ever made one naira on social media. I doubt if he has. But for me to go to his page, ah, Apoko Doctor, they make money, not cook yourself. <laughs> he probably makes the same money with a doctor abroad. No Gokamu. But they add value too at the same time. So he adds value and makes money. There are some people who make money and add no value. And there are some people who add value and don't make money. Either one is okay. The one that you neither make money nor add value then you should start to question yourself what is the purpose of your life your father came to this world he was a civil servant your mother came to this world she served many men so she too was a servant you too now servant you won't be for the rest of your life Do you want to be the bush path in between two farms that people walk on? The bush path is useful, but it brings no returns. Some of you are bush paths. The road marked between, two, between the farm and the market, between the farm and the river. The river gives water, the farm gives crops, the market is where they sell the crops, and the house is where you get rest. The house has value. The farm... You don't ever see where they sell bush parts before. River get value. Farm get value. House get value. Some of you are just bush parts. The purpose of your life is so that people can use you to achieve something. Some people come to social media, they analyze scenarios. They bring clarity. Some people investigate. Some people entertain. You, you are a consumer. All you do is come to consume on social media. You are worse than the bush part. You are the lizard. On the bush path. Hello, Simply Vic. Happy birthday for yesterday. That lizard that you are coming on the bush path as they run, they not fit chop them, they not fit sell them. You know, add color, you know, be bird with the chip, 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 chip. Being real, George. <laughs> Those are big guys on YouTube. They add no value. Now, there are some people who actively support causes on social media. Some people like Henry the Great will come. Ah, Daddy Freeze, I want to buy steak for you. Some people like Linda and Captain, uh, John Jay will come. Ah, Daddy Freeze, I will buy your money gun. Those are the people supporting the farmers. They are the ones that give them water. They are the ones that give them fertilizer. They are the ones that give them manure. 
they are the ones that give them seeds to plant you are not useless there are some people who come and lend their intelligence i want to go live now i bring somebody online and the person has a conversation and the person talks and adds one or two values to the social media my question is you that are hopping from blog to blog i'm not talking about bloggers who, i'm not talking about content creators who, i'm not talking right now about those who are doing any form of any form of value as long as you have hundred thousand followers on social media you are either making money or creating value or both i am talking to you that has 24 followers and you will not leave social media from one TikTok video to the other. I am talking to you. You don't support on social media. You just go there to catch crews. So I'm going to say, Daddy Freeze, you are talking about uh, this person. No, I'm talking about you, the trolls. You, the trolls, you have 300 followers and you are following 7,000 people, but you have 300 people following you back. She's a poor boo. There are some people who don't have many followers, but like Josh, Ibiri, without them, my work will be hard. They are my support system, Natural Gambia simply vic vidoma josh essek those are the people that support me without them i will not be where i am today at that blessing and there are some people who enjoy social media i don't have a problem with you you come online you watch and you consume. The ones I have a problem with are those faceless trolls that go from blog to blog. Sugar Destiny, that's my sister there. Gabzola, those are my people. Adding no value but teasing the people when they come they come to ada they say they insult her to the catch crews keypad warriors i'm talking to you with your leprosy fingers waiting for somebody's downfall to happen so you can go and laugh let me tell you something the reason why they are talking about you is because you are famous if you are not famous even if they publish your story for newspaper nobody goes see them even if they publish your story for newspaper nobody goes see them so i want to talk to you today it's a brand new day if i'm correct today is the 17th day of april 2024 what are your plans on this social media are you going to continue being a cruise taker or is there something social media can do for you or what is there that like you can do for social media? Are you just contributing to the toxicity? Or are you bringing joy, laughter? Of course, once in a while we'll disagree. Once in a while we'll argue. 
my question is what are you bringing to social media ask yourself those of you that say daddy freeze is making money ah let me tell you <laughs> you don't know anything my charges have gone up they are printing the new charges now so if you think before you it was hard ah you're not saying hard now now you won't say hard one girl said daddy freeze i want to pay i have your old charges i say yes just add 15 percent first I don't want to hear anything anybody wants to say again. Miola said she brings her pretty self. And we love you for it. Talent Hunters. Thank you for sending me 6 euro. And you must, you see, your parents were given a belief system. Jiga Collins, are you still here? Your parents were given a belief system. They were told that Jesus would save them. And I ask this question. One hundred and fifty years ago, Ghana was looted and some artifacts were stolen. And they were taken to the UK. And after pressure, the Ghanaians finally won the opportunity to have their artifacts brought back to Ghana, but only on a loan. So the UK is now going to loan to Ghana the Ghanaian artifacts that they stole for three years under agreement with a possible extension of another three years they stole your idols and cannot give them back to you but these same people that stole your idols gave you jesus for free ponder on that they do not give you visa for free they do not build hospitals for you for free the things you need in your life, they do not come and build good roads for you for free. They did not even come and carry you to their country for free. People that could steal your idols and loan them to you for three years. If those people give you anything for free, worry about it. If they could give you anything for free, worry about that thing they gave you for free. Because whatever they give you for free is valueless to them. That is why today, the same UK, Christianity has become a minority religion. That Jesus that they were sharing to you, if it had value to them, they would still be Christians. They are not ready to release our idols. Just Google BBC, uh, Ashanti uh, artifacts loaned for three years. You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. Our artifacts are more valuable than Jesus. Now, let me tell you what's valuable about Jesus. Black Jesus. They kept that in a vault. Hid it away from you. If not for Putin, I went to go and open the vault and bring out the picture. If not for Putin, I went to open the vault and bring out the picture. They will have hidden that from you. God bless you, Jiga Collins. The oppressors gives nothing to the oppressed for free. Anything they give you for free, worry about it. Imported religions are one of the reasons why Africa cannot go forward. Because for you to go forward, you have to have a logical thinking brain. 
you have to have a logic as long as your brain still believes that jesus is coming to save you they will continue being your gods an oimbo man painted a god that looks like him and gave it to you to save you let me ask you a question when they were giving you this this jesus do you know they were not ready to share bathroom with you bathroom for black people they different from white people did you ever notice that predominantly black neighborhoods like new orleans are not as developed as places where now we impo people fool like dallas have you ever given it a thought before they kept it like that So when you come to social media, you have to understand that the first reason why nobody is going to like Daddy Freeze is because Daddy Freeze has refused to allow the oppressors continue to oppress me with a book that I have read. And I know that what the oppressor said about the book is a lie. Singapore is one of the wealthiest nations on earth. It was colonized by these same British people. It was a poverty-stricken nation in 1960 when we got our independence. And it did not get its independence until five years later in 1965. Today, in Singapore is one of the top three richest nations on earth. In 1965, Singapore was impoverished. Today, I think I was watching the, the documentary. I said top three or top four in the whole world. Richer than the US. And they are Buddhist. How did they do it? Person, by Inside River. They are arguing what God cannot do does not exist. Let's take him to a shrine. See mentality. See mentality. So, I want to hear what you people have to say so that me, I can go and sleep. I don't talk my own. I borrow the man's offer. I borrow the man's let anybody that is not Yoruba translate it for you. Half talk, neither they tell person where they useful for society. Once you enter in Bele, you go turn one hole. Aboro. Half talk, neither they tell good citizen. Toba de inue. I do the D. Brother, you know, get light. <laughs> Hello, Daddy Freeze. Hello, the brother. Minute. How you doing? On light, on light. We will see you now. Yeah, yeah, just a minute. Just a minute. Uh -huh. Once they say just a minute, you know, say that they are abroad. They just, they, they did darkness, they watch. Niger man. <laughs> Niger man go say, get a little far. No, Daddy Freeze, you are very correct. So, mm. <laughs> just, just a minute. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nothing abroad in the <laughs> how you doing, brother? I'm very well. Uh -huh. So let me hear your perspective. Uh -huh. I'm trying to set up the same ring light as yours. <laughs> Go ahead. Guys, while you're watching on TikTok, pop my money gun. No. If you enjoy the topic, pop my money gun. Come 
somebody said, listen to this. Try to be reasonable and say things that really matters to us. Talk to the government. King Africa, is your mouth paining you? Can you not talk to the government? You use your mouth. Me, I've decided to purge Nigeria from what I believe is the greatest problem, religion. You talk to the government. You'll be all right. All right, so go ahead, my brother. Let me hear from you. Yeah, um, I was listening to the artifacts from uh, Ghana to the UK you mentioned initially. I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you clearly. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, so I think um, it's sort of a disservice to the continent. For mm. So you took something from somewhere and then it's not rightfully yours. And now you're learning it back to the people who are the original owners of those particular artifacts. Whereas in your own country, you've actually used this to gain um, revenue. For instance, people travel around the world to see these artifacts in the British Museum and other museums in the UK. So I, I, I think it's not the right thing to do when it comes to the way to go about it. You can argue that when it comes to the ability to look after these things, maybe the Ghanaian government may likely not have that capability to look after those artifacts. And a good example is um, the ones that were returned to Edo states, and I think that was about three or four years ago. And what the government is doing in Edo state is to build, I think, um, a kind of a national kind of gallery or something like that with support from the British government to ensure that once these artifacts from um, the UK, that's the Benin artifacts now from the UK, are relocated back to those states, they have a sitting place where they could easily be taken care of. Because these are over, um, let's say, 40, 50 years ago, and you require some certain kind of um, approach to undo these kind of artifacts. So in the, at the end of the day, you don't want to lose those things. And that is the argument the British government are trying to pull. Okay, so sorry, one second, what is that, your name? My name? Yes. Um, Dr. Peter. Okay, let me yes. remove the other guy. The other guy is... Yeah, so let's have clarity. Okay, okay yeah. so when it comes to the other arguments the British government are trying to pull, which is also kind of valid, is that if you relocate these artifacts to this country, do you have the right temperature, the resources needed... <laughs> Um, brother, you're laughing. That's it. That's it. That's the truth. Because no, no, you have I, I'm to have... sorry, sorry. I'm laughing. I'm not laughing at you. Okay. I'm laughing at what they said. You know, what I'm saying I'm not laughing at you. But well, let I'm me sorry. ask you a question. Do that's we true. value our artifacts? No, be Jesus, we value. <laughs> Jiga, do we really value our artifacts? No, the truth is, the truth is this that is free there. Mm? I cannot come to your house and take your thing mm? and take it away for years. And the time is coming. A time comes where I want to return it. I'm telling you that I don't think you can look after it because it is your thing. You've owned it for years. Those artifacts have been in Africa hundreds of years before the Europeans came. Hmm. Right now, Jiga, Although I agree with you, you see, before hmm. the Europeans came, the Africans treasured their artifacts. Exactly. Now the Africans mm. don't treasure their artifacts; they treasure well, listen, Jesus. That, that, we, yeah, I can. This the, the generation that we are in right now, because I, like I said earlier, and my brother, sorry, I think that laughing was rude, but I, I think um, you you misunderstood. I wasn't laughing at you; I was laughing. No, at no, that's you, fine. That's, fine. that's fine. Now, see, we as our generation and the generation of our fathers. We've been misled. We've been misinformed, miseducated. Like I said earlier, that if there's a bug in our system, you see, I posted something recently. The Chinese built the European um, African Union building in in uh, Ethiopia for free. It cost about three hundred million thereabouts mm? Mm. for free, oh, and they gave it to Africans, right? And you know what they did every night. The, the servers in that uh, 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 office, in that uh, building, transmit data to Shanghai. They had, you can verify this, they had cameras and candid cameras and microphones everywhere in the building. So basically, they bugged 
the free thing they gave to us. So let, let me so let me let me ask you this. Let me let me let me ask you this. I'm going somewhere. I'm No no no. We have just five more minutes before Instagram. Let me just finish. Now, this is in the 21st century that the Chinese did this. It makes me wonder what did the Europeans do when they came to help us. Ah yeah, madao, and give us Jesus. You understand? So if they brought us education, mm, healthcare, civilization, quote and unquote, mm, and all these good things that we thought they brought us, who is to say they didn't bug it? Who is to say that they didn't put things in there? Um, so the argument you're making, mm. uh, the Singaporeans can also make the same argument which Daddy Freeze was saying initially. Okay, mm. so there are many countries around the world that were colonized by the British. Mm. Now, when you look at their level of development today, compared to the development in Nigeria, we are at variance. Okay, yeah. but now just a minute, just a minute. If you go to Benin, right, there's a NIFO, which is the National Institute for Forest and Something Research, mm. where we have the plantation for palm for, and the palm plantation, right. Mm. That was where the Malaysians came and they took a seedling from Benin to their own country. Okay? Mm. When it comes to this, a lot of on my page, and a lot of people tell me uh, the, the Malaysians were colonizers, colonizers of all, the Singaporeans as well, and all these Southeast Asian Asian countries and all that. They are not Africans. They are not Africa. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. What we that have. You to come back once your life goes off. Yeah, what we have, what we have in Africa, no other continent has it. None. See, Which is true. What we have, what the what we have in Africa feeds the world in terms of minerals. But so, Africa cannot feed itself, right? Yeah. Now, what I'm what, what am I trying to say here? The benefits. That they, what they stand to gain from Africa, they're not gaining from Singapore or any other part of the world. That's what you the, think. The mean, no, let's be honest. The cotton, cobalt, the raw minerals, the manpower. Who built the railways in 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 in, 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 but, in England and in but, London, my but, brother? But, who built who built the rail system all over Europe? It's yeah, not but, Singaporean. Doesn't that answer the same question that the phrase was trying to raise when he mentioned that we don't value our current artifacts, for instance? So you have these mineral resources, you don't know how to use them, right? You said um, you're saying that just a minute. You're saying mm. that um, when it comes to we are misinformed, we are miseducated, and all of that. Mm. This is 21st century, right? We should have involved to know what is what or what is right and what is wrong. So okay, that okay. narrative, that leg no, of no, argument, no, let, let, let me, me, let 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 me, which is a point. freedom is not is not no, free. No, no, I have to demand for it. You okay, think we okay. are free? Jiga, we have just one minute left, and I'm not coming back because I'm exhausted. So let me hear, doctor. And I think I'm going to bring. I'm going. If you are free tomorrow, guys, DM me. Let's do this again properly. In the meantime, yes. let's hear, doctor, for exactly one minute, and I'm timing you. Then let's hear, Jiga, one minute, doctor. All let's right. Hear you. So the argument I'm trying to make is: this is the 21st century. And everyone has information at their beck and call. Okay? Mm. So whatever you want to make do of your country and of your continent is right there with you. Now, when you look at the leaders you have in Africa, for instance, are they actually looking after the well-being of their people? That is the first question you should be asking, right? But when you look at the education system in the country, for instance, I'm a Nigerian. So when you look at the education system in Nigeria, our society is not knowledge-driven. Like, it's not knowledge-driven. And in the 21st century, the currency of the world today is knowledge, okay? That is why um, the Indians are excelling when it comes to IT. And when it comes to um, technology and all of that, you can see that Germany, they are also up there when it comes to the production of cars and all of that. Mm. And when you look at Nigeria as a case study, what specifically are we producing that we're exporting to the world? What is the exchange? Oh. I'm, uh, I don't 
done all my life for me.